now that we've made it clear and joe did i get an email like this yo <laughs> guys now i'm worried now i am i didn't see like anything pop up on my stuff but now i gotta check my emails Hey guys, Sonny Bryce here. And you know, I wanted to watch this video a while back, but I said, why not wait to watch it with you guys and find out exactly what's going on. Now, the rumor is that basically that Graham says that YouTube is leading my channel. I heard a little thing here and there on Instagram, but I'm not really sure about the whole thing. And it sounded like he was using automated software to like get rid of bots, which everyone on YouTube is because bots suck. Okay, bots just suck. Nobody like bots, okay, but and then YouTube is right into the latest channel. I think that's what's going on here, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's watch together, find out what's going on and, and, and make sure that Graham is okay. Because by the way, honestly, Graham is like the pioneer. I took Graham's course. I use a lot of his information to kind of like build my channel also. The guy is pretty solid. So far, so good. But let's find out exactly what is going on here. Hey guys, so I apologize that this is not my usual video, but I wanted to bring something to everyone's attention. By the way, this is very serious, Graham, right? Graham is always smiling with his um, extra voice and, and like, hey guys, it's Graham here. This is not that. Because I have a feeling I'm not the only one dealing with this and I want to bring awareness to some issues happening right now. First of all, you might have noticed that- Nice watch, Graham, what watch is that? Throughout nice. the last week, I have stopped responding to comments. This is because- It's so annoying. I stopped responding to comments too. I stopped responding to comments. You know why, guys? It's because it's impossible to respond because, well, not impossible. It's just so much work because if you leave a comment down below, you have a bot respond to you. I can't respond to it. I hide the bot. Another comment comes in and it, it becomes such a, a place where you don't even want to look anymore. But I try to respond and I started using software to kind of like clean those things up and go back to responding comments and so on. But I, I, he hasn't started the video and I already know that I'm mad. Because for some reason, my account was shadow banned from showing up on videos. This man. Oh my God. meant that I could go and comment on other channels, but my comment was hidden or it was only temporarily visible when you would sort by newest first. That's crazy, I had no idea. Now this has happened to me in the past and sometimes I think, okay, maybe I've just been commenting too much, I've hit some sort of threshold and it's just temporary. But th That's crazy. This week my comments were just straight up not showing up and so the other morning I logged into my account and I saw a big red banner at the very top of the page. Our team has detected repeated or severe comment spam from your channel. Unless you immediately stop all spam activities, your channel will be terminated on July 12th. July 12, guys, look at that. July 12 is literally like five days from now. That must have scared the poop out of ground. Prior to this, I've received no warnings or no indication that this was ever an issue. Not to mention when I saw this, my heart sunk because- Yeah, what sunk for me I too? knew it had to be an error. The concept of my channel being possibly terminated for something that I have no idea about is absolutely terrifying. It's crazy. Especially when all of this just came out of the blue. I also- and the guy even moved, like, switched states and everything for this stuff. We wanted to let you know our team has detected repeated or severe comments spam from your account, which is a violation of our spam. Now that we've made it clear, and Joe, did I get an email like this? Yo, <laughs> guys, now I'm worried. Now I am, I didn't see, like, anything pop up on my stuff, but now I got to check my emails to make sure that I couldn't get an email like this because I think I was doing the same thing that Graham was. So... Um, reply to case. Okay, so I'm fine. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I did not get an email like that at all. Okay, not at all. Okay, let's keep watching. Also got this email from YouTube with a termination warning, comment Ooh. spam detected. Hi, Graham Stefan. We wanted to let you know that our team... He read it. I, I should have detected read it. repeated or severe comment spam from your account, which is a violation of our spam deceptive practices and scams policy. Any future violations of our comment spam policy will result in immediate termination of your... That's crazy. 14 days is all they give you. That's your channel. Days. So of course I wanted to learn more about what was going on and what was happening. So I clicked on the learn more button, but uh, that left me even more confused. YouTube defines comment spam as comments where the sole purpose is to gather personal info from viewers, misleadingly drive viewers off YouTube or Oh, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Or perform any of the prohibited behaviors noted above. Okay, so that is something I have definitely never done before. Yeah, before. But yeah. then I scroll down a little bit more to this. Repetitive comments, leaving large amounts of identical, untargeted, or repetitive comments. Okay. This is the point where I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's just because I'm writing too many enjoy and thanks for watching replies to new comments on videos. Yeah. It's because I want to thank everybody for taking the time to click and watch on the video. Yeah. But none of that was untargeted. I'm not gathering any data from you. I'm not trying to get you <laughs> off the platform. I'm just thanking you for watching and genuinely hoping you enjoy the video. Plus, I physically do all of that myself as often as I can. So yeah. that would be a crazy reason. 
This is crazy. This is scary stuff. This is so crazy. Reason stuff. to ever terminate a channel. So I had a feeling it was not that. But if we scroll down a little bit further, YouTube gives us examples of what the comment spam actually looks like. That includes comments and surveys or giveaways that promote pyramid schemes, Ugh. pay-per-click referral links, Ugh. and comments. Comments that falsely claim to offer full video con Ugh. content, posting links to harmful software. Nobody does that. We never do that. It's the spam comment. It's the bomb Fishing comments. sites and comments, comments with links to counterfeit stores, channel promotion when the channel has nothing to do with the video it was posted in, what and posting the same comment repeatedly with a link to your channel. Okay, I, I, I get it. This is like, if you're doing this, obviously YouTube wouldn't want them on your, on your platform, right? But what's going on? Why did, why did Graham get kind of like, um, Messed and again, I have done none of this. And the fact that my channel was somehow targeted for deletion is a major oversight by YouTube. And if my channel gets terminated, I mean, this is literally my life. I've sp yeah, exactly. spent these last four and a half years obsessing over every video, trying to make them perfect, giving you the content that you want to see, trying to make it fun, and never missing an upload so you have a schedule that you could rely on. Now, I yeah. did reach out to YouTube, who assured me that they were looking into this further and making sure the entire situation was resolved. You know how scary that is? Imagine like you walk into work because it's just kind of like our job here and they're, and your job boss is like, hey, guess what? Um, We're going to terminate everything here because we heard you were doing something. And you're like, I, I, I didn't do that. Like, I didn't, what are you talking about? I didn't do that. That's crazy. You know, it's crazy. But I have a feeling, a, a theory, if you will, why this is going on and why my account was scheduled for deletion. About a year ago, I noticed a series of new accounts beginning to impersonate me in the comment section. Every single one of us. I see so much of it. You see Tommy Bryson, Tommy Bryson, Tommy Bryson, Bitcoin, 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 all this stuff. That's never me. That's why I got my channel verified to have like the little check next to it. So that way, you know, like that's when Tommy comments. I never want your money. I never want your information. I'm never going to give you a number to call me at or any of that stuff. Even when I take calls, like on the Ask Me Bryson channel, I always take your number and then I call you directly. There's never a number. There's never any texting going on, any, any of that stuff. Okay. It's, it's weird stuff. They would use my same name, my same profile picture, and use bots to respond to every it's so every single comment on a video, sometimes multiple times, telling that person to text a WhatsApp number for investment advice. Ridiculous. Needless to say, the entire thing is a scam, and if you send them Bitcoin, they bring you to a fabricated landing page where they give you made-up profits, and then they pressure you to send them even more money until a Ridiculous. Eventually, they disappear. The problem with all of that is that these comments are impossible to delete. They, there are. There they are. They always show up within seconds of me posting a new video, all pretending. And if you hide the channel, which kind of like puts it so it doesn't show up, they just create more bots, more accounts. I think YouTube should have a rule where you can only use, kind of like Instagram, like you have one username, but then it doesn't matter because then they use the other usernames. It's so annoying. Like, how does YouTube do this? You know, I know this guy. Um, and he created, I think it's called like um, socialclean.io, if I'm not mistaken. And it's a software that helps clean up your software and like clean up like the comments and so on. Why doesn't YouTube integrate his software, like buy his software and just have, use that software to clean up the stuff, man. ...to be me or using a slight variation of my name with the exact same message. I, I can't stand do it. my best to block those users, remove them from the channel, delete yeah. those comments. Same thing But I do. within a minute, they made a new account and bought reply hundreds of comments at a time yep. i even go so far as to block specific words that they use from showing up in my comments like whatsapp but as you would expect within about five minutes they realize that their comments are not showing up so they use slight variations or yep <laughs> it's crazy it is crazy. around the word to get past the spam filter the other issue with this is that it doesn't even matter if i delete the comment because if you have email notifications turned on you're going to immediately see an email saying that graham stefan has responded to you with the yeah. WhatsApp yeah. number that you could go and text. They've even taken this a step further and ran ads of me on. I've seen this. I've seen this. my own videos known as the Graham step in arbitrage. It's not mine. It's a scam. And every single time I block that link from appearing on my channel, they go and change the link and it shows up again. This is not just happening to me either. It's happening to everybody in the investing space. Yep. Yep. Speak about it, Graham. Speak about it. Think about it. Meet Kevin gets the same comments as I do shortly after posting. Jeremy Financial Education gets them. Andre Jit gets them. Everyone My second gets channel them. gets them. My podcast gets them. Our live streams get them. Even my girlfriend now has people impersonating her along with my assistant, Jack. Although it appears in the process of cracking down on this, my channel was accidentally swept into the big mess of trying to chip away. 
just crazy. That was a big mistake. He's spam comments. Even though I'm not exactly sure what's going on right now, I have a feeling that YouTube is identifying accounts that just post the same comments over and over again, prompting people to go and text a WhatsApp number. And when they all use my name as their username, it was inevitable that their policies would round up all the Graham Stephens out there and my yeah, that's crazy. Real account with some. But the verified account should be different. That's the thing, because none of these accounts were actually verified. Somehow get mixed into that. Again, all of that's just a total. YouTube should limit comments activity to no more than 20. Ugh, you can't limit people because people like to comment stuff like that. So why do that? It's just such a tricky thing. Like, just. How do you how do you get around that? It's such a tricky thing. Total huh? guess, but it would make some sense. Between the comments and the fake ads, I'm overwhelmed. And the best thing that I could do right now is draw attention to it and bring awareness so that no one else falls for these scams. And in the yeah. meantime, I've been in communication with YouTube to make sure that my account is still here after July 12th. Because like I said, most likely they're just mixing me in with all the other comment spam and all the other fake Graham Stephens. It's a good thing that he's exposing it, you know, because if this happened behind the scene, like how would he express what's going on? Trying to on? get you to text their number. I also know I cannot be the only one who this is happening to, and I would hate for other legitimate channels to potentially get terminated by mis yeah. mistakenly being swept up under the same rug. But I can't say there's a part of me that's not worried about how they plan to address this going forward. So my message to YouTube, thank you so much for making sure this issue is addressed and doing your best to cut down on these comments. I want to keep my channel in good standing and if there's anything that I could do on my end to help, I'm all for it. And to you watching, I just want to say I- I like the way Graham Stephan films his video. It's very good. Like he takes these, these breaks, these pauses, and then he comes back and then all this stuff is very good, very good. I really appreciate your support. And just know, I will never ask you to send me cryptocurrency. I don't use WhatsApp. The only accounts that I have are verified with the exception of Twitter. Well, I don't know when that's gonna happen. So unless you see a check mark next to my name and that's my actual account that I use, it's not me. In my opinion, probably the best solution to this would be to have an option that only allows seasoned accounts to comment, meaning- uh. But what about the new people? That account has been set up and in good standing for a few months. You know what they should do? Only accounts with verified phone numbers should be able to comment. Because these they, they can't make a bunch of phone... Well, they can get text-free numbers, right? But then that's going to cost them money, potentially. Verified phone numbers, verified emails, and also... Let's see what Grandma says. Months, they verified an email address, and they have a valid phone number. Oh, there, same, same thing I said, basically. From there, the creator would have the option to only allow comments from seasoned accounts, meaning that no new accounts are able to comment. Ah, uh, that does make sense. Very smart, Graham. Never send anyone money who says that they are me, because I don't do that. And of course, if you see an ad with my face in it, just know that that ad... I remember when they were running those ads, and then Graham was like, yo, can you send me that ad? Because I thought he knew about it. It's being used without my permission, and I am not associated with it at all. So thank you so much for hearing me out, and if you have any thoughts on this or anything you want to share, just feel free to comment down below, and I will do my best to read as many comments as I can. Just be careful with buying Graham, because they might delete your channel. It's, it's ridiculous. Can. At least through this, we could bring more attention to the issue, make sure fewer people fall for it, and the more people who know this exists, the more we could fight it together. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, I, I forgot to ask you to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm if you would not mind doing that. All right, great. So Graham did a great video here, so I'm going to go ahead and give this video a smash, okay? Like button. By the way, notice that YouTube doesn't allow you to dislike anymore, or I like show the dislike. This is great, but not that great. Because if you're watching a video that's trash, like teaching you how to do something, like here's how you do something, like you can tell if it's good by the like ratio, right? But now it doesn't do this, you know? I guess it's good, but it's not that great. So you have everyone here. I get these literally every video. Oh my gosh, this is scary. I'm gonna comment. Oh my God, this is scary. Glad you figured it out. All right. So let's leave Graham some support there. And then I, I wonder if we got any fake comment. Look at this, look at this right here. Fake comment, right away, right away, fake comment. Look at this. No, 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 no fake comment there. Let's see if we have fake comments here. No fake comments there. Okay, good, good. Okay, so not, not that many fake comments. It's pretty good. Look, no fake comments. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. So even Ed, on, his, on his video about what they're doing, there's also fake comments. There's the same thing going on with my video. If I click right here, let's see if I click right here. Does it show it up? Look at this. You have like fake comments that pop up all the time. All right. 
I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell, so get notified. Um, I, what do you think about this video? You know, I, I like I, um Graham's idea of like seasoned accounts, verified phone numbers, verified email. That stuff actually makes sense. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As always, we want more content like this. Here's the very videos right here. Click my face right here. And as always, peace out.